This is my uh, 1947 Sears Silvertone desktop radio record player wire recorder. I picked this up from an estate sale out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and there's a little story behind that uh, we'll tell a bit later. It came with several wires spools, and uh, there are some, um, some pretty interesting things on the wire spools. The unit is complete. As you can see, it has the microphone with it, which is fairly unusual. You hardly ever find the microphones with any of these um, machines anymore. And the microphone is very 1947, very Art Deco, aerodynamic, uh, just has a look and feel of um, things of the, of the 1940s. The machine is complete and in excellent working order. I did have to do a little bit of, of uh, lubrication and clean up to the machine. Uh, obviously I missed the hinge on the lid. And as you can see, um, it has all the, the uh, components in place. And uh, we'll go through them right now and I'll show you some of the things that work with it. The machine has an AM radio. So, now, since that's come out, there have been a number of really good Google phones. The Sprint Evo, which I think the world of, uh, and I think also beat the iPhone 3GS. The Droid Incredible from Verizon, amazing phone. Has a very there nice are, sound to it. It doesn't have a, a lot of static, a lot of uh, phones in the background. I have not recapped the machine, and I probably should. Some little uh, paper capacitors in there may have some, I will certainly have some H to them, but the machine seems to play and, and does very well. Okay, so I've set up a wire spool on here. This is a, a, one of the extras I have. It has some 1940s music that's been recorded on it. Um, it's not one I particularly care for, so I'm going to record over a piece of it in just a few minutes to show you that the microphone works. But I've uh, gone ahead and started the leader on the uh, turntable reel. Uh, the uh, spool has been put in the proper position here, and you can see that the wire is coming through the magnetic head. I've already switched it over to play wire recordings, and all we have to do now is turn it on and turn it up. for this particular piece of, of a spool. So we're going to try the microphone here in just a minute and make sure that that works. Everything else is set up. I've had the volume turned down. Now we're going to turn the volume up quite a bit. This light back here should pulse whenever you speak so that you can see what your um, sound is going to be, how loud it's going to be. That light bulb is not working right now, so we're just going to have to play it by ear and we'll just turn it up and, and see where we go with that. So now in order to turn it on, it has a safety switch. We have to press the button. And now we put it on record. And we pick up the microphone and look at the light. It does blink back there. So you can see by looking at the light, the volume that you're using. I'll turn it up just a little. We'll see if that makes it a little bit brighter. It doesn't seem to do a whole lot. In fact, it didn't seem to do much at all. And we'll turn it way down and see what it does. You can see when you turn it way down, you don't get much of the light. So we're going to leave it up to about this volume. And this is the test. We're going to play it back in just a second to see what it sounds like. We'll turn it off. And we're going to rewind uh, just about one minute of it, I hope. Alright, I think we got it to the right spot, so let's put it on. Now we have to go back here, turn the volume down. We'll go back here and we'll put it on play the wire. Turn the volume back up a little, and we'll turn it on. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot. In fact, it didn't seem to do much at all. And we'll turn it. So we're going to leave it up to about this volume, and this is the test. We're going to put it back in just a second and see what it sounds like. So you can see that the recording did work, in fact. In fact, the, the spot in there where you didn't hear anything was when I turned the volume down to see the light back here was, was not pulsing. So the microphone works. I'm really thrilled about that. It is a complete and working machine. 
I'm going to rewind the spool and then I'll play a, a record on here for just a minute and that should be the last that we do with it. The rewind on these things is really kind of clumsy, I think. When you rewind it, it's, it's um, just going to spin faster going backwards than it did forward. You have to turn the volume down because you can hear. Uh, the magnetic head does not disengage so you can hear it. And it should, re it should rewind a full spool in about 12 minutes, which means it's really going rather fast. It is, in all actuality, a reasonably clumsy machine to work with based on the technology at the time. I'm sure it was great. Based on today's technology, it's really kind of clumsy to work with. So we'll just kind of rewind. Keep it turned down so we don't have to listen to noise. It has a reset switch here that should turn off whenever the leader from the wire goes through here. But I had to make a scotch tape leader rather than the uh, one that came with it. So there's a good chance it won't turn it off. And that's it. We have played the spool and we have recorded on the spool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to play a record on here. And I've chosen a 1952 Tiny Hill record. I'm moving on. And we'll set that all up. Now in order to play that, we have to turn the volume down and turn it on to play record. Turn it on. Turn it up. Play the record. That big eight-wheeler rolling down the track Means your big fat daddy ain't a-coming back I'm moving on We're flying too high for my little old sky. I'm moving on. That big loud whistle as it blew and blew said, "Hello, Alabama, we're coming to you. We're moving on." So there you have it. We have a fully functional 1947 Sears Silver Tone. Uh, record player, wire recorder, and radio. A really fun machine to have. Um, I have some school, spools that were recorded in the 1940s, early 1950s that I can play along with it. And I'll record one of those and, and I put it on uh, YouTube too. It's just a really fascinating machine. It's a, a, a pleasure to own it. It's nice to have a machine that was in such good condition when it was found. Your daddy, but your daddy will say keep moving on.